Um, the next song is one of his hits, Cringe. Yeah. So and go ahead. You said you had some stuff on this. Uh, yeah. So, well, one, this song is great. The stripped version of this song is might even be better, in my opinion. I'll it, check it's, that It's one. pretty close. Okay. Uh, but, yeah, so this song, he actually wrote this song about being pushed away by people close to him because of the lifestyle he was living. Again, like I said before, he was selling drugs, addicted to drugs, did some time in jail. Mm-hmm. Um, but rather than pulling him in and loving him, he was getting reprimanded by people that he felt should be kind of there for him, yeah. like in his time of need. Uh, so he felt he was making these people cringe. Yeah. And that's, where the, okay. that's where the song title comes yeah, from. Okay. Um, but the cool story I had about this was he wrote the first verse in the course and set the song aside for like a long time, but he sent a clip to, uh, to one of the like record labels. I don't know if it was a label, but. The guy he sent the clip to over the next couple months, every week, the guy would reach out to Matt Mason. He's like, hey, man, you finish up that song. Like, this is a good song. You need to finish it up. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So eventually he got so annoyed with the guy. He finally he finally he said Matt Mason said finally just to kind of shut him up. And because I really did love the sentiment of the song, I sat down and finished it after a couple months. (laughs) (laughs) Well, hey, whatever it takes, I guess. And then obviously this became like his biggest hit. So it's kind of funny how like, you know. This song was going to be on the shelf, and yeah. someone else had to be like, dude, like this is a good song. You should. Kept you putting should. it off, putting it off, and he's like, fine, fuck it. I'll finish this banger. Yeah. Do you have any notes on this song? I've, I'll um, read some of the lyrics. I mean, musically, I just think it's it's super catchy. It's kind of It's got a poppy beat to it. Um, mid-level, not super fast, not super slow. Um, good work on the vocals here. That's kind of all I got. Yeah, the vocals is cool, and he's like, she said, I'm looking like a bad man, smooth criminal. She said, my spirit doesn't move like it did before. She said that I don't look like me no more, no more. I said, I'm just tired. She said, you're just high. And I said, I saw you in the water. And then he repeats that. This is another one where the background vocals through that little bit. I said, I saw you in the water, where like the the women background. I think that really adds a good flavor to this song. Yeah, so for the longest time, for whatever reason, on this song, when he says, uh, I said, I'm just tired, I always thought, it, the next line was, she said, you're just tired, like, agreeing with him. Yeah. And then when I looked at the lyrics for the song, it actually makes more sense. She's like, you're just high. Oh, yeah, Because yeah, that's yeah. kind of right. knowing, like, the sentiment of the song 100%. now. 100%. Yep. That makes sense. That's cool. Yeah. And then, like, uh, last thing when, towards the end of the song, when he's, like, he's just kind of, s- not screaming, but it's, he gets into his range. He's like, do I make you cringe now? But he kind of amps it up a little bit. And yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. pretty cool. Back-to-back songs where he does that. Um, I mean, shit, we're in year three now to, to like get here but well i guess he did cringe on the first ep so whatever but anyways um back-to-back songs like this i just think it's a great way to open this album 